Yo guys, today I'm gonna review the Empower wired computer headset and I'm gonna tell you how it is in sound quality, how the mic performs because that's pretty much the main selling feature for such a thing. You're gonna use it for Skype calls, Zoom calls or whatever communication. Also, I'm gonna tell you about the comfort, um, any other features that might be applicable to you and overall, I'm gonna let you know whether this is worth your money or not. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is unbox it. When you do, you first see what's on the box. We have some feature icons and specs at the back. When you open the box, this microphone foam pops out. Then we can open the headset, which are nice and glossy. Then we open the two-in-one inline control, which is a cord extender as well in a way, and has a control unit with buttons. Then we have the manual, which no one ever reads. And there you go. As for the price, this thing retails for about $25 on the MPAL website. Now the price is always something that could be different depending on which region you're in and especially when you look for it. As for the look, these things have a glossy plastic on top and I think it makes it look a little premium actually. It's got a nice texture, it looks really nice and clean albeit it probably gets scratched pretty easily because of this very shiny surface. I haven't scratched it yet, but that's just my guess. Um, it's of course uh, flexible for any size and it fit me pretty well. And speaking of the fit, they fit quite nicely. I would say the comfort is pretty good. These are memory foam pads, at least that's what it says. And they're quite soft enough. I wish they were a little more thicker, but honestly, it's not a problem. Also, the headband is comfortable as well. This could have been a little thicker as well, but you won't feel these are uncomfortable. You can wear them from quite a bit of time. One thing to notice, these are on-ear style. They're not around the ear or over the ear, which most of my headphones are, so I wasn't used to that. But honestly, I found no discomfort wearing them. I liked it a lot. The cord is short, at least the 3.5 millimeter cord, but they give you this inline control. So when you put this in, suddenly you have much longer wire, which I haven't even opened right now. So I think for the look and feel, I would give this a solid eight out of 10, which is a good score. As for the features, this thing has a bunch of icons on the box, which pretty much mean nothing. It says adjustable boom microphone, and uh, I think every headset has this, so it's not really a feature. It also says enhanced digital audio, it says um, 3.5 millimeter jack, of course, and a USB connection. Anyways, enhanced digital audio doesn't mean much as well. I don't think they have some really special proprietary technology, but there are two, three things that do make sense or actually stand out. Now, the first one is built-in noise reduction sound card. I don't think this thing is a sound card. Maybe they have a bit of technology going in, but this does have noise reduction. And what they mean by that is not ANC. It doesn't have active noise cancellation, meaning what you listen to, it blocks out hums and lower frequencies and stuff. What this means is that the mic reduces ambient sound when you talk. So that's a good feature. It's worth mentioning. Also, this says it has an exclusive two-in-one inline control, which is this thing. Now, I like this. You see, without this, this is a short little cord. With this, it becomes a very long cord. And this connects to anything that has a 3.5 millimeter jack, but once this is connected to it, it can use a USB, which is great. Now, the best part of this is that it's right at your fingertips. It gives you control. You can mute the mic or turn it on in case you wanna talk and not have anybody else listen to what you're saying. It has a volume up and a volume down button, and it also has a general mute button so that you can't hear anything. So I just found this very convenient. I like it. I like the fact that it extends the wire by quite a bit. So those are some pretty good features, especially when you take this into consideration. Also, while we're on the subject of features, these have 40 millimeter drivers, which is always a good thing. They're nice and big. You'll get good bass from that. So for features, considering the price, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Now let's talk about the mic. Now a lot of people who buy this would wanna use it for Skype calls, Zoom meetings, or anything that requires a mic. And it's really important to check out the quality of this. So let's quickly listen to a test. Okay, so this is the mic test for the Empow wired computer headset. Right now the mic is right next to my lips and there's no background noise. And now I'm gonna turn on some background noise. Now I've turned on ambient restaurant sound as well through my phone, which is just eight inches away and the volume is on full. How does my voice sound? Is it clear despite the background noise? Do let me know in the comments below.
Okay, so this is a quick mic test for the Soundcore Live Q30 as well, just so you can compare. Also, I'm gonna put on the same background simulation for my phone, which is very close by. Now, how does my voice sound? Is it still clear or not? Okay, so this is a sound test for the Apple AirPods Gen 1. Right now, it's a quiet room. So this is my voice with the background simulation on. How does my voice sound? Am I clear or not? Okay, we heard the mic test and I think these are fantastic. These are really good for Skype calls, Zoom calls, or just any chatting. The mic is right up here. It says it has a noise cancellation for the mic. I don't know how well that works, but the truth is whether that's kicking in or not, just the mic being up here and the quality of the mic probably is giving you very clear and good sound of my voice. So I am really happy with that. Yes, I compared it to two different like apples and oranges, they're different things. My earbuds, which are Apple AirPods first gen, these have a good mic for earbuds. And I also compared it to the Soundcore Q30s because I had these lying around and they're big earphones. So I thought, why not? Although these are much more expensive, but I just thought that uh, since I have them, it'd be a good comparison for you. So these blow away both of these anyways, and I would totally recommend this with a mic. The mic gets a 9.5 out of 10 from me. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, think about hitting a like and subscribing. And you can also join my Facebook group where you can interact with me. The link is in the description. Now, let's talk about sound quality. So these have a 40 millimeter driver, which is always a good thing that gives you good punchy bass. How do these sound though? I did some tests, I listened to it, I compared it with my other stuff as well. Number one, the volume is pretty loud. These go quite high and it could be actually bad for your ears, so you have to be careful, which is quite common in a lot of headphones. I'm not gonna say that's amazing that these go that loud, but anyways, the more important thing instead of the loudness is the quality. And I think that the bass is quite punchy, it's quite strong, the mids are okay, they're reasonable, and the treble is quite strong as well. However, the main thing to note, I'm gonna tell you the flaw, is basically the clarity. In the mids, it's not as clear as some of my other earbuds and headphones, but these are quite budget models. And the other ones that I have, like the Soundcore, although these are also budget models in one way, but they're much more, they're like three times more expensive than this. So it's kind of unfair to compare it with that. However, if you don't compare this with anything, I think the music quality when I listened to it, or even the sound quality was pretty good. I didn't feel like I'm missing out on much. Yeah, you can tell that the mids are a little muddy, I wish they were more clear, but the bass is strong and the treble is very strong probably because these are geared more towards calls and talking. So vocals kind of stand out when you're talking to somebody, you'll be able to hear them very clearly. So I'm gonna give the sound quality, considering the price, an eight out of 10. And yeah, you can use this for a lot of things for talking and music and not really have much of a problem. But if you spend more, you will get better sound quality. So it's an eight out of 10 for me. So in conclusion, these babies get a 33.5 out of 40 in my scores. So what do I think of them overall? I would say these are pretty good for the price. I would actually recommend these. I like the look. I think they're comfortable enough. And the main thing is that their mic is really good. So when you use these for your conferences and calls, you will have no problem. And also the sound quality is pretty reasonable, especially for the price. I actually think that you should go for these if you're looking for something within that budget and they probably won't disappoint. So that was my video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, definitely smash the like button and stick around for my next video. Also write a comment, tell me what you think of these, if you've had some experience with them. I would love to know. So till our next video, take care, bye.